Hey guys, this is Hell Hades, and this is going to be a bit of a treat video for you guys. I got contacted by Ubisoft, um, and they basically said we've got a new game coming through, a Tom Clancy game. It's going to be on mobile. Do you want to do a sponsored video? And I was like, you know what? The first ever game that I got seriously involved in, in terms of like a competitive online game, was a Tom Clancy game, Raven Shield. Um, yeah, Rainbow Six game, Raven Shield, online multiplayer, FPS, and I was like, I love it. I also played a ton of The Division, had a great time with that, and obviously they've got other massive names under their, their kind of radar as well, like Splinter Cell series and that type of stuff. So this, though, guys, is not an FPS on a PC. It's not the kind of game that perhaps you'd expect from Tom Clancy and from Ubisoft. This is a collector game, um, a gotcha game, but it's like a fragment collector. So... I think we can enjoy the intro se sequence. The cool thing about this game is they're bringing in, as you can see here, a lot of the characters that you probably already know from the series. So if you're into Tom Clancy games, if you're into Ubisoft games, then you'll know a lot of the characters they're bringing in for this collector. And um, and you might well enjoy it. It's, it's very different from the sort of collectors that I've seen so far. Now, before we get into the actual review, I've been sent a gift. It's the first time ever that I've done a sponsored video where I've been sent a gift. So we're gonna get into this. Um, it feels a little bit like Mission Impossible where you get, you get like your set of instructions. So they did say to me for this sponsored video they're gonna send some stuff through and I thought it might be like some posters or something like that. But Ubisoft, what's that be this? What is this? Pelican case. Let's have a look. This is like really meaty. <laughs> what have we got in here? I got myself a backpack. What's in this? Let's have a look. Perfect. I literally got no idea what we're getting out here. Got myself a little spy torch. What else is there? Rechargeable lights. <laughs> Got myself some badges to put on my sleeves. Beautiful. What else have we got? Oh, what we got here? <laughs> nice, in case I join the army, guys. <laughs> this is the way. A little first aid kit. A drone. <laughs> Brilliant. What's this? A little micro case. Case within a case within a case, guys. This has got to be the juicy one. What is it? Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Just like let out some gas. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's just like a little case. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Well, that is my little gift pack from um, Ubisoft. Let's get back into the video. Hey, guys. Uh, so, look. Just staying on brand. Um, <laughs> this is the first military RPG that I've seen in the kind of gotcha collection. Um, the idea of this game is to be the best commander, to build yourself an elite squad of both the good guys and the villains. Yeah, so you're pulling them all together into one squad. Uh, kind of cool idea. Um, certainly, it does play in a similar fashion to other gotcha games that I've seen. So, uh, but there is a couple of tweaks, so that's cool. Uh, I'll take you through those different elements and, and yeah, see what you think, guys. So I'm literally like four, five days in. I'm level 26 um, and I've already got a whole bunch of stuff open to me. So there's guilds in this. There is guild wars in this. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, you can literally bring together, you know, your, your Tom Clancy elite squad, the ones that you really want to pull together and you take them guild versus guild. Very cool. Um, you get your kind of daily events to do. So you can go in and bring in your squads and each of them just gives different rewards and the chance to kind of unlock different characters, different soldiers. Um, you can go into the daily ops where again, you can kind of do tactical drills, payday. So this is gaining your cash. This is gaining your uh, auto tokens, energy, 
um, crafting bits to empower your soldiers. So a whole bunch of stuff to do on a daily basis. You've got your kind of normal gotcha campaigns, guys, but with a bit of a twist. So you've got the Umbra section, you've got the allies, then you've got the underworld. So you have to kind of pick the right characters to be able to fit into those different areas. Underworld is something I've just unlocked, so I can show you this. Um, so basically, you go in, it tells you what rewards you're going to get for each fight, um, and it and you can only use the villains. This is the villain section, so I'm actually a bit shorter of the villains than I am the heroes. I'm only allowed to use two, am I? Oh no, just a bit of lag there. So I'm, I'm allowed to use five, build five up, tells me what my enemy rating is here, and it's saying, watch out, man, you are not prepared. Um, but I can upgrade my characters, because I'm level 26, I can actually train her up, spend it a bit of my coin to get myself level 26. Nidia Flores. She is appointment enduring. So each of the characters got their own kind of skills uh, and their own traits. You can power them up once you've collected different bits of gear to improve their, their setup. You can even um, unlock different guns. So you can see it kind of goes from um, a common, uncommon, epic a legendary on her and everyone's got their own kind of setup for that so it can be anything from knives to guns to to big kind of automatics um and you see i've kind of balanced it a bit more there i can power this fella up as well um emil let's get you some power my friend um again it cost me a bit of my coin i've got to be a bit careful of that i don't want to empower everyone but otherwise you're just going to push your your silver to the limit but it's quite good as a UI. It's very good at just kind of telling you different things that you can upgrade and where you can do it. So you also choose as the commander, you choose your kind of combat orders. I control the combat orders. The other guys are on auto mode. So you've got to select yourself the right classes to be able to work together. So if you see here, I've got like tank options. I've got medics. I've got damage. Yeah, uh, I need a good enough selection of those different types of heroes, different types of soldiers to be able to deal with a threat. Um, first time I've actually gone into this level, all of the different areas are from either Splinter Cell or the division, you know, Ubisoft games. So as a commander, I control these two abilities and I'm basically saying you've got damage, damage, healer, tank, tank. So my damage, I'm gonna say, get your special done. Get your special ability out nice and early. That's one of my kind of um, commander abilities. The other one I've got is an airstrike, bam. I can choose between about six different commander abilities um, and I'm rolling with those. Whilst once that's done, it's a bit of an auto game. You're, you're kind of, it's all about your setup and getting people in the right positions. Basically what you're trying to do here is you're trying to get yourself like a three star rating because then you can come back and auto this level. If you don't hit three stars, then you have to manual the fight. Once you've hit three stars, you press auto, you don't even need to come back into this screen. Similar to other gotcha games. Um, but the main difference for me, so it's, it's kind of idle in between me selecting my abilities. So I select my abilities, bam, um, which is cool. I like this side of it. I wish there was a bit less idleness in between. For me personally, I like to be a bit more frontline and involved. Uh, I also think if people are coming here for the brand, Ubisoft, um, Rainbow Six, you know, all of those different brands, um, Tom Clancy, this is probably a bit of a rude awakening because they're probably not used to a gotcha genre, whereas we are pr probably for anyone watching my, my videos. Um, so you complete the level here. Victory, yes. I got all three, um, all three clears. So I cleared the mission. I didn't die and I did it quick. Once you've done that, you can go back into that mission again if you want to collect the rewards and you can just go auto win. Auto win, yes please, use some of my energy up. I collect all these bits. This is all stuff for me to get XP, silver, and then kind of leveling bits up on my characters. So again, we've seen it before in other gotcha games. So this side of it is, it feels comfortable to me. I know what I'm doing. Um, daily events, again, it's it's kind of cool. It's like a tournament mode. You go in and, and you're trying to unlock different soldiers, different heroes. Um, and I guess the main purpose of this then is if you're into... Um, FPS games of this genre it's to collect the squad that you want yeah it's about bringing together those villains and those allies into one team to create the ultimate team and I feel like this game is going to edge towards more um, player versus player commander versus commander more than um, 
PVE mode. That's that's what it feels like to me. So yeah, you can pull together your squad. Obviously, I'd imagine the most well-known one here is Sam Fisher, but there's there's a ton of characters here which would be fun to collect, and um, and they've got different kind of star ratings based on on who you get. So some of mine already are kind of shining out as, as stronger than others. The one area of the game that I haven't really played and haven't had a chance to yet, so I'm, I'm waiting to join a guild, is Guild Wars. So you know, rally your friends together, take on other forces in a guild war. That's what I feel like most of the gotchas that I've played are missing. Um, and it's a massive gap. It's a massive gap for me. So um, good effort for getting that in there straight from the start. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. And I think that's where what will draw a lot of people into this game. So look, guys, this is downloadable on um, iOS. It's downloadable on Android. I'm actually playing right now on Bluestacks as well, which is a PC emulator. Um, so I'm going to put the links for you to download it below. Get involved. Give it a try. Comment below, what do you think? Is it something you feel like you can get involved with? Um, do you need to be sent a cap before you can actually be involved in this game? Let me know in the comment below.